Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Scorpio, the relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this couple, partnership, friendship, whatever this is, okay? So however it plays out for you. I'm going to pull individual energy for Scorpio A, and then I'm going to pull individual energy for Scorpio B, and we'll just take a look and see what the outcome is and all this other stuff and all this other stuff and all this other stuff. All right, let's get right into it. Just so you guys know, I did pull uh, these cards. I usually don't pull them, but I wanted to see what each person needs to release. So for Scorpio A, I see that you're experiencing some kind of emotional release here. This is about you deciding or acknowledging that are people too involved? Other people too involved with what's going on with you, something like that. For some of you guys, it feels like other people think that they can run your life or something like that. So you guys want to focus on running your own lives here and making sure that people don't believe they have control of you or make sure they don't have control of you. All right. Some of you guys also for Scorpio A, this is something about you emotionally releasing certain things that have happened, right? Dealing with those feelings. I feel like for some of you guys, this needs to be done in order for you to accomplish something. And I think that's where you guys are coming into because it did come out upright. Look at the freedom involved with the release. Look how this person, look, you see palm trees, but you also see the rain. Whew. That is just beautiful. All right. So we see Scorpio A. I'm seeing that that's coming up for you. Now, I do have Scorpio B here. I mean, just because I'm going to put it up, right? So we have heart and mind balance. So it looks like the other Scorpio in this relationship might be having some challenges with balance, right? So I see something about you, Scorpio B, not necessarily following your instincts about something. There's something where there's some blockages that need to be cleared. Hold on. Let me see what else we have here. We also have here something about the basis of this card really is not... Is unable to express clear indications of growth. All right. So we see somebody here, and I want to be very clear. Scorpio A, I'm, I'm pretty sure Scorpio A, I'm sure emotional release wasn't always there, right? I'm sure that was pent up. So it, looked like, it looks like two people have two separate things that they're dealing with. I feel like one might have been doing the work and released some things, right? I see, a, I literally see a release. So you guys are probably separating from people, places, things, nonsense. I'm letting it all go. That's what I'm getting from this. So for Scorpio B, I see that there are, you know, there's something here where there's a little bit of an imbalance with clear indications of growth. So it just signals that there's some sort of imbalance. And when I'm pulling these cards, guys, just to be fair, I am a person of diplomacy. I want to be fair, right? So... Tarot is timeless, but it can also change. So when I'm pulling this read, for all I know, Scorpio A could be in some other place, right, emotionally. Like, they could have suddenly picked up, oh, I'm going to hold on to it. And then the other one could say, oops, I'm balanced now, right? So things change all the time. But as I pull these cards at the moment, this is where each Scorpio stands, okay? Let me see, because I do see this has to do with a lot of emotions and all that good stuff, emotions. So let me see, Scorpio A, what is this? These cards are... Something I can't remember. Oh, here they are. A more basically a more of the psyche. Scorpio A, what are you releasing? What do you release? What is the emotional release here? Tell me where you are, please. Something about body positive. Now, maybe some of you guys were having some challenges with your body. I don't know. All right, maybe you guys have some feelings about your body that you want to, I don't know, take care of or something like that, body positive. All right, that could be a challenge for you. Maybe some of you guys need to try being more healthy or something like that. Maybe some of you guys need to look in the mirror and decide what you do like and what you don't like and how you want to change it. Maybe this is about getting outside. Maybe this is about getting more into nature. Maybe this is you feeling more comfortable outside in nature. There's something going on here. I'm scared to even show these cards. They have too many images. Something about body positive, okay? So maybe that's what you're releasing here. Not feeling positive about your body. All right, let's see what else. Give me more. We also have you, the warrior of love. I feel like, Scorpio, for some of you guys, did you give up on love or something like that? For some of you guys, you're deciding whether or not. It feels like a cycle is coming to a, a, an end. But I feel like you might still be holding on to something. Warrior of love. I think this is really good because it lets me know, Scorpio, maybe you're down in love, but you're not going to give up on it, right? 
I feel like with some of you guys, you might still be holding on to some things, even though it says emotional release, the areas of opportunity here, maybe something to having to do with the body. Maybe you guys want to tone up, sculpt up. I don't know. Maybe you should eat healthier, drink more water. I don't know. Fruit, whatever. All right. So we do see that emotional release. So those could be the things that Scorpio actually released, those areas of opportunity. Yep. We see a nine and we see a 10. Okay. So I also see here with Scorpio, there's something about jealousy and possessiveness. Is that something that you need to let go of, Scorpio? Ooh. I think that that could have been an issue here. It's something that you're trying to release here. It says it's a five, jealousy and possessiveness. I don't know who, what Scorpio, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not. These readings are for entertainment purposes only. I see what's coming out, but the good thing about this is it's not all my energy. So I'm like... Jealousy and possessiveness. That has been coming out though. So I mean, even with me, maybe I need to look at myself and see if I have some jealousy and possessiveness, right? These reads are about reflection and clarity. Let's be honest. Okay, let's see. Now, Scorpio B, let's see what's going on with you. What are you focused on? What is causing the imbalance with you? So we see this one over here, the first one. They're re emotionally releasing some things. It looks like you guys have released it, but it looks like this is what had to be released. I still think that there's something about jealousy and possessiveness you guys need to work on, whatever that is. Give me more, please. Give me more. Heart and mind balance. Okay. Uninhibited release. Okay. Some of you guys are... Some of you guys are pent up. I feel like some of you guys... I think you need to make decisions about certain things. I think that you're trying to find some kind of harmony in something. I think that you have two sides of yourself that need to cooperate and you're trying to figure out how to get a balance on it, but uninhibited and release, you're bottled up in something. And I think, I, I listen, I don't be very clear. I don't feel like this is hiding anything. I really don't. But I feel like there's something about, something is bottled up there. Some of you guys could have two sides to yourselves or you need to acknowledge the other side of yourself. In some cases, sexually, like really. Give me one more, please. So this could be about, let's see, a beautiful face. Okay, so Scorpio B, I see that there's something here, a beautiful face. This, I don't know if you're trying to, are you questioning your own beauty or something like that? I'm not sure what it is you're questioning. I feel like for some of you guys, there's something about you expressing yourself, the way you express yourself in the mix of groups. It almost comes across, I don't want to say it's insecurity, I'm not going to say that at all. I don't know what it is, but I don't know if there's an insecurity about the way you look. It looks like both these folks here, they are, you know, Scorpios, whatever. Now, I also want to be clear, too. This is not a, this is not a light versus dark read. These are two different Scorpios. I want to be very clear about that. All right, give me one more. We also see something, Eros and Thanos. Uh, I don't know if you guys are fighting demons or snakes or trying to get somebody tied up in something. I'm not sure what this is about. It seems like there's some sort of fighting here. Dealing with a snake. I don't know if the snake is internal. Do I even have a way to... Hold on, guys. Let me see something. I got a minute. Because this one didn't come with a book. Okay, I guess it's about exiled children. Something about being exiled? Hold on. Okay. I think this is about failure and success, if I'm looking it up correctly. Let me just close this so I don't have... My other area. I'm working between two areas. Okay. Something about failures and success. I don't know if this person has experienced it or if this person is still trying to find a balance between success and failure. So I think this is still some growing to do. That's all it is. It's literally just a journey like the other Scorpio. So in a sense, I feel like some of you guys could be on the same path here, whatever this is about. I needed to clarify this. Because apparently, you know, when I do the reads, people are getting mixed up, you know, or they're putting out there that those reads are about me. They are not. 
Okay, also, I don't offer personal reads, so if you guys see my work, please report it. I only have one tarot channel. I have this one, actually, and then I have my second one. If you guys see my videos anywhere else, they are to be reported and taken down. That stuff is already in the works anyway. I think we know that. All right, so let's take a look and see. Now, there's something about finding that balance between success and failure, whatever this is about. Let's get into the reads here. We see Scorpio A. Let's take a look and see where you are in this relationship with your Scorpio B, all right? Now, for some of you guys, right, whoever falls under this line, whichever Scorpio you are, this is a Six of Wands. It comes out upright for you guys. This is Scorpio finding some kind of triumph or achievement over some sort of troubles, things that were thrown in their way, all right? Um, it also goes on to say that there were some issues that they were having, I guess, with the other Scorpio. That's what it looks like. There's something where Scorpio A was able to put their reputation back into place or it looks like you're working on it or something like that. It also says your reputation is going to be put back in place and there's something about some sort of achievement or gifts that are going to come into you. Now, I don't know if the gift is an apology. I don't know what this is, but I do see where your reputation is being put back in place because you fought significant battles to clear your name. We also have the Hermit card here. We see Scorpio A actually goes into solitude. So Scorpio is disappearing. Scorpio is, I don't know, up in the woods somewhere, uh, in a mountain. I don't know where you are, but I feel like this is you taking some sort of retreat so you can find inner peace. Scorpio A strikes me as one whose main focus is peace, right? So we see that this Scorpio takes their time. They step back from a situation, and they try and gain some kind of knowledge, listening to their inner voice about a situation and how they want to achieve their happiness. See, this Scorpio, again, is looking for peace and happiness, right? They're looking for that peace upon request. So when I say something like that, peace upon request, that means that I can go into that other room, do my work over there, and then I can go over into the other room because it's like being compartmentalized, being able to turn it on and turn it off. So I feel like, with the Hermit card, especially in the context in which I'm speaking, this particular Scorpio, there's something about being able to take solitude, close the door, walk into the other room, do the report, run the analysis, whatever it is you're doing, right? And when it's done, you can go back and recline upon demand. I'm looking for that peace. And I think that's what Scorpio is trying to attain. It looks like you have. Now, when Scorpio does this, it looks like there's some sort of completion that comes in with the Ten of Cups. What is the Ten of Cups? Now, this could be ultimate happiness. Now, for some people, this is going to be family, contentment, love, support. We know that, right? It's everything for Scorpio. It looks like Scorpio really triumphed over something. Now, does Scorpio still have areas of opportunity? Yes, it looks like it looks like this one thing here. Something about jealousy and possessiveness. So if I see something like that, I'm going to go in and review myself and be like, what is it that I'm jealous of? I'm going to ask myself those questions. Okay. Let's take a look and see what's going on with Scorpio B. Now, Scorpio B, we do see the tour, the tour swords is reversed, uh, reversed for you here. It talks about you guys being at a crossroads. There's something that you have to make a decision about or a decision needs to be made about a situation. But this is also about unwilling to compromise. There's some changes that I'm not going to make. I refuse to learn a lesson. I refuse to make some sort of a change or something like that. The cards say Scorpio B, you're in for a nasty surprise. The cards are saying that you are going through some sort of self-conflict, right? And a lot of people don't know you're going through this, All right, This is whoever you are. There's a lot of people that don't know what's going on internally for you, right? So it looks like you caused some disappointment for Scorpio A. So Scorpio A is disappointed with you. But it also says here, Scorpio B, that either you're going to pop up on Scorpio A or Scorpio A going to pop up on you. That's what it says. It says that there's going to be some surprise appearances. It also says the King of Wands, right? We have that upright for you. We have something about a wealthy man entering the picture who has a lot of passion. This particular person who you are at a crossroads about, right? It says here that this person is extremely giving. They're inclined to help people who need it. They're inclined to help people who deserve it. It also goes on to say that this person is honest and they don't have any deceit involved in the feelings that they're giving for you or to you. Whatever that's about. So it looks like you may have been involved with somebody else. It feels like if you guys are a couple here, it feels like somebody might be hung up on somebody or they had some conflict with, with somebody and it caused the other Scorpio to step away here. We have a hermit energy that's Virgo energy. 
And well, let me just call these out. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And then, of course, we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Because we see the Scorpio A comes to some sort of completion. So I feel like this King of Wands here was providing Scorpio B with some sort of finances, providing an element of comfort or something like that. But it says the reason why this person provided for the Scorpio is because their security is shaky or there was something that may have intercepted this. I don't know. Security once, you know, given somebody was giving you something out of passion and honesty and then they were providing some sort of comfort. But then it goes on to say that your security could be shaky. You're dependent on other people for your financial well-being. Let me check that. No, your wishes were coming true. Because this is a nine of pentacles. This is about you guys having some kind of comfort. This person provided some kind of comfort. So why'd you... What's up with the unexpected appearances? The outcome for both of you guys is a knight of pentacles, some sort of trust. Tell me what this is about. I'm not understanding. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to clarify. You're going with me on this one. I got a minute. So being that I got a minute, we can do this together. I really, yeah, I got a minute. I got like 16 minutes. Okay. How can I find out? This person provided some kind of passion and comfort to you, but you were at a crossroads about something. I feel like they were asking you to do something and you... I don't, I don't want to say this is an un unwillingness to commit. But it's like you had a, you, don't, you weren't willing to compromise about something. Oh, where are my cards? Let me see what this is about. What's this about, please? Some of you guys didn't want to settle down or something like that. The other one's like jealousy and possessiveness. You're mine. I think one Scorpio may have been possessed over this. Oh, okay. I did ask what this was about. Wedding rings, union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, and everlasting promise. Were you guys hoping to get married? I feel like Scorpio B, you were trying to marry somebody else or something like that. I don't know if you were trying to marry the other Scorpio. Like, so there's somebody else in here. Hold up. Somebody was providing you come sat and stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, deception. There was some sort of deception. What? Give me one more. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. Who stabbed who in the back? I know there's a separation, but I'm trying to figure out who stabbed who in the back. Give me one more. Stop the pattern. Abandonment. Uh, okay, I'm feeling like whoever this is, this king of wands here, they were asking you to stop some sort of pattern, and it seems like there may have been a refusal, and it's kind of backed up with the refusal to grow. I'm going to look at this other one because I don't want anybody to feel like, let's see, so that comes up is significant. It's a possibility that Scorpio A, if there's somebody else involved here, it, it could be a Virgo, right? If you had somebody else that you had to go into solitude, it's either a Virgo energy or maybe you guys were dealing with a Virgo at some point. But I see something with the Ten of Cups. So I don't necessarily feel like... I feel like this love was, it is what it is. And this one has some sort of interruptions here. I'm, I'm being honest with you guys. I'm trying to be diplomatic. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing here that I need to break down. There was some sort of achievement here. Something about holding on to your reputation. Something about hiding away and gaining some kind of knowledge. Solitude for wisdom. So I could get my ten of cups. So I can get my love. So I can have my career. Whatever it is that you want. This person over here was at some sort of a crossroad. They were hit with a surprise and it wasn't a good surprise. I think they were surprised that Scorpio, your partner here, was upset with or disappointed about something, right? I feel like in some cases, this is going to sound so crazy, but go with it. It's a story. In some cases, we had Scorpio A pop up on Scorpio B and they were rocking with somebody else. <laughs> there was an unexpected appearance. But the question here is something about trust with the Nine of Pentacles. A common energy, because these readings are not like, they're not like my common readings. They do have a little bit more information because I'm trying to break stuff down. But the common energy for these guys is a King of Pentacles here. 
both you guys have the spirit of adventure. Both you guys are ready to move. Both you guys are ready to make some sort of move to have a better life. Money, possession, security. Okay, so I see that both you guys are ready to make moves and you're doing. It looks like you're acknowledging or doing a work or whatever, but I just see that somebody has some feelings about one has moved on. They're like, it, it is what it is, whatever, right? So they walked off. <laughs> like, you know, let me let me get ready to get my bread. And the other one was still having some decisions to be made about something. Something about, I don't know if you guys were trying to, I don't know if you guys were married before or divorced because it does say something about a wedding being stabbed in the back and a breakup. So some of you guys could have been divorced and this could have happened. Somebody could have stabbed you in the back. It could have been an Aries, a Leo or Sagittarius that could have stabbed you in the back with somebody that you guys were married to. But I feel like with I feel like if Scorpio B is able to get past this stuff and you guys want your relationship to work, it looks like your goals are pretty much the same. It just looks like one might operate a little I don't want to say deceptively, but I don't want to say deceptively. I feel like this person said what it is. And if they didn't say it, they showed you. So whatever that's about. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on with love here. Okay, this person was providing some kind of comfort. Like I'm trying to offer you something. I'm trying to offer you this. I'm trying to offer you that. And you like putting me on pause. Like, or I don't know, whatever you want to. What's going on here with the Knight of Pentacles? Show me love for this couple, please. Or whatever this... These readings are okay. reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. All right. So both you guys have to deal with some sort of reconciliation or you guys want to get back together after a breakup or something like that. Give me one more. Let me see if there's anything else I need to know. Trust. All right. So there's something about there not being a ton of trust here. I saw trust reverse somewhere. Where was it? Oh, somewhere. I don't know. Give me one more, please. Reconciliation. Can I trust you? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I need you to not do that. I need you to not extend and be flirting with other people. Like, that's the vibe that I'm getting. All right, so I feel like somebody, one of you Scorpios might have been a little bit too free with the flirting or whatever. Like, being real. Hold on, give me more. Give me one more. Calling in your soulmate. Some of you guys are deciding whether or not you want to reconcile with somebody or call in somebody else. Or you could decide that the person you're reconciling with is your soulmate. And you might be trying to just figure out, is this person really my soulmate? Are you the one I want to call in? Are you the one I want to reconcile with? Or, you know, because I feel like this is a breakup. I don't trust you. Something about a wedding keeps coming up. This situation involves marriage. Wedding has come up twice. So some of you guys are a married couple. Or somebody's bringing some problems from a marriage into a new relationship. Or somebody doesn't view marriage in the same way. Something like that. Give me one more. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So a romance of a lifetime, you'll never forget it. Does it mean the person is for you? Not necessarily. But it does involve a wedding here. So there's something with a wedding. Something with, a, something with somebody trying to provide comfort. We got another person that moves on. I still feel like this is inconclusive, though. Let's take a look. If there's no communication because you guys are separated, what do you have to say? Scorpio A, what do you have to say to Scorpio B? Babe, I love you. I want to be with you. Okay, so that's what I said. Scorpio, this one seems at peace. They know what they want, whatever. Right? And they went within to think about it. What's this other one? What do you got to say? What do you have to say to Scorpio B? I hope you don't find out that I've been watching you on social media. It came out reversed. I hope I don't find out. Shut up. So we have one who has made a decision and the other one still, you know, I hope you can, whatever that's about. Whatever. All right. So we have that. Let's take a look and see what other, if you guys are communication, communicating. Scorpio A, what do you have to say to Scorpio B? Let me just shuffle these up right quick. At the bottom of the deck here, or the top. Sometimes I feel like you want too much from me. Okay. Well, we do. Okay, we have one. Is, uh, whatever that's about. Give me a message, please. Scorpio. Okay, that's all. Let me take it. <clears throat> we need to do something fun together and break the ice. 
So we see that this person, Scorpio A, is still kind of high-spirited or whatever. And then let's take a look at Scorpio B. Scorpio B, what do you have to say to Scorpio A, please? Whatever this is, wherever this is leading, I want it. You are on my path for a reason, and I'm so grateful for your friendship. Right. Okay. I think that's all. I just wanted to break that down. Common energy. Do I want to do a common energy? I don't really have cards in here. You know what? I'm going to do a couple. Give me, give me a common energy. What's up? Money money worries are keeping me up at night, and I'm just not in a good place. Both of you guys are striving to get some sort of a position. That's what this is. You guys are trying to achieve better for yourselves, and it's as clear as day here with the Nine of Pentacles. Like, I'm willing to do what I have to do, to. It's just that there's a little bit of uncertainty, it seems like, on one end. But I think both you guys look like you worry about money. Give me more, please. Give me one more. Give me what is common between these folks with this deck, please. Common between Scorpio and Scorpio. Clock. Need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal, progress. So both you guys are still healing from something. One more. Boat. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving, moving on, and closure issues. Some of you guys still with the closure issues. I feel like some of you guys, jealousy, possessiveness. I know this was an un untraditional. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events. You guys are holding on to stuff. Both you guys are. So even though we have one that might be a little bit more emotionally released, I still think that there's this thing with this that you need to work on. or The clock. Taking that time to recover. Whatever this means to you. But that's all I have for you guys. I want to thank you for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like. Share, subscribe. Ah, 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 ah. Please, oh my. All right, so yeah, this reading's over. I do this from time to time. Y'all might as well just hang out with me, right? All right. So let's see, here's a clear board. Look, the sign comes down. Yeah. Let's see, anything, what else comes out? I might as well just. All right, this is an anything read, whatever. Oh, high honors. There's something with high honors on delay. Let's see it come out reversed. Love on delay. Ooh. High honors message. All that was halted. Oh, my goodness. Hold up. Sudden. All of these things are delayed. There's something with high honors. That's on reverse. Lovers, messages. Something about sun and wealth. Something's being put on hold with wealth and money. A mature woman. Let me see something. Some sort of a change. Change came out. Yep, there's a change coming in for a mature woman. Expectation. What else? Journey. Now, when this journey card comes out, is it an undesired journey? One that you don't want to take some in for a gift? Okay. Poverty. Somebody, if you were going through something, you're coming out of poverty or whatever. And then occupation. Oh, that's interesting. Some of you guys won't have to work as hard. Distant horizons, what's coming up? Community. Community did come up reverse. Something about the family room. So community and family. We also see something about ooh, bad health. Community, family, bad health. A thief came in. And then because the thief came in, we go into the courthouse. <laughs> There's a message of concern. I don't know if it was a secret one, but somebody checked in about something. It came out reverse. It was a message of concern about a false person. Somebody was impersonating, scamming, pretending to be something that they ain't. Lying, you know, scamming, whatever it is they do. Hold a false person. False person, privileged lady. Who is this false person? Is that like, ew. Okay. Is that a false person? Okay, tell me about this privileged lady and a false person. What comes out in between them? Unexpected income. On delay, courtship. Interruptions of money, courtship. Wealthy man, they ain't watch you with the wealthy man. Something about a coffin. It's reversed here, so I guess that didn't happen, right? A child. Great fortune. A child who has great fortune. This person could not be married in some cases. What else? Imprisonment. Oh, somebody going to jail. Somebody going to jail because they tried to step in and steal somebody's great fortune. Or whatever that's about. Message of concern. This message of concern, I think, was sent over to another woman. They put her on alert about something, a pathway. 
Uh huh. Something more about court, where the, the judge is looking at you like you crazy, like why you even pull up in here, and somebody is coming out of despair. Maybe that's the person, an official person is involved, a mature man is involved. Something about a house. The house did come out reversed here. It's a big house too. Look at that. Ooh. We also have a main male. I just did the whole pack because I'm just <laughs> a main female, which came out reversed. Now look at his face as he thinks of this woman. A little scheming face like, hmm, how can I take her for everything she's got? All right, guys. Love you. Bye.